it's another beautiful day and another great day for an episode here on Cache Canada. And today, we're going to take you on a tour of Manitoulin Island. Holy doodle, it's big! Manitoulin Island is situated at the northern end of Lake Huron and is the largest freshwater island in the world. It is large enough that it has over 100 inland lakes itself and many of those lakes have islands on them. There are more than two dozen small settlements, first nations and towns spread across more than 2,700 square kilometers or 1,000 square miles of boreal forest, lakes, rivers, shorelines, escarpments, meadows, and alvars. But let's not forget... Got it! There are geocaches to find, so let's go find them. Got it! Wow, we really overthought this one with the rating it had. We did a lot more searching than we needed to. <laughs> Nicely done. These little buggers can hide in plain sight so easy. And what Lyric Glass said, so easy to just look right past them. Wow. What's the name of the cache? What a view. No, I want to know the name of the cache. No, that's the name of the cache. Oh. What a view. It is a beautiful view. <laughs> great spot for a cache up here. Oh, Cam Rue, you did a great job. It's a good container, good cache. And yeah, it's what a view. <laughs> Holy doodle. Got it, and right where we expected it to be, and somebody else said in their log, the branches here are very pointy, and yeah, Mike, I can attest to that. Ouch. Oh, that's a nice cache and a really great spot. Look at this view, it's fabulous. It's like just tucked in here looking out, it looks awesome. So there's uh, some nice little swag in here. We got a uh, love the 90s flashlight, a pin, attitude attitude. Pen, a crayon, butterfly, and a whistle. Hey, what's the name of the cache? That one was called Down by Gore Bay, where, where the watermelons, watermelons grow. grow, back to my home. Back to my home. I dare not go. I dare not go. For if I do. For if I do. My mother will say. My mother will say. Have you ever seen Dave when he needs a shave? Down by oh, Gore Bay. Oh shoot, I did forget to shave. Oh darn it. <laughs> taking a little beer break here on our cash adventure on Manitoulin Island. Such a lovely day. And the views are spectacular. Every place we go, it's gorgeous. Yep, and the caches, they're pretty good. The Earth Cache, the Swing Bridge, is a great example of what could be an otherwise ordinary cache, bringing you to a cool spot. It's the location for which the cache was placed. If you time your visit, the swing bridge opens up the first 15 minutes of each daylight hour during the spring, summer, and fall. The little current swing bridge provides the only land crossing onto the island. Built in 1912, it was originally a rail bridge. In 1946, the bridge was altered to allow both rail and road traffic. In the 1980s, the Canadian Pacific Railway transferred ownership of the bridge to the Ministry of Transportation and has been used exclusively by road vehicle traffic ever since. Definitely a great spot for a geocache. 
Another great spot for a geocache, High Falls on the island's eastern end doesn't have one. What's up with that? Yep, got it. Here's the uh, original, and we were worried about this one because it was, the log said it was so dilapidated and so trashed. But original tin, but somebody has put in a replacement cache just recently. So that's kind of nice. So this will last a little longer. Well, these won't last forever. They do downgrade the plastic uh, erodes, but the metal can is done. But they both have contents in them. Let's take a look. Easier said than done. There's the original log book. This was put out June 21st, 2004, and here's the first to find, June 25th, 2004. The replacement cache has a little flower pot, a horse, a little cute puppy, a stone, and a pencil sharpener, and a pencil. So we're unable to go down into the uh, gorge where the falls is and even hiking there, the 1.2 kilometer hike, you can't get there. They've got the whole area buried, uh, barriered off because of the COVID-19. But our friend Terrier has got his drone out, he's got a full license ready to go. So he's getting us some good footage of the falls. And in this location it's an earth cache, there's no traditionals here, just an earth cache. That's awesome. And this earth cache is by our friend, uh, Master Ninja. A little bit down. Oh yeah, you see the whole thing, oh, kind of cool. Good. And there's the falls, that is so awesome. Terrier, thank you very much for your, no your footage. And now we're gonna go find some geocaches. And Sounds like look, fun. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Let's geocache! Let's go! Yay! Well, I see a blue Smarties container. Good enough. You know, unless you put it up. I don't know, we'll put it in a different place you found it, but up here with a rock on it. Oh. We know what they say about putting caches back better than you found them, but it has to be better than just sitting in the opening of the fireplace because anybody could come here and just get that and throw it away. So it's at the coordinates, so that's a good place for it, and it's heading. There it is. Should be able to find that if you're a good geocacher, or even a medium one, or even a newbie. <laughs> Even I could find that. <laughs> That was a really fabulous day, wasn't it? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, and we're so glad our friends were able to join us. Did you have an awesome time or what? Of course we yeah. did. An impromptu visit to yeah. Manitoulin Island. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and tomorrow they're going to the Cup and Saucer Trail. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Early morning is Early. the best to go. Mm -hmm. We did the Cup and Saucer tour, but you're not going to see that one until our next episode next week. Next week? Yeah, next oh. week. So you have to we wait. We got to wait. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Yep. Where will geocaching take, take you? you? And everybody in the hall, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>